Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Meyer. I'm a researcher and a Canada Research Chair at the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health at the University of Toronto. And I'd like to talk to you about a discovery published today in the Archives of General Psychiatry. The interesting thing about this discovery is it might explain why the sadness of postpartum blues and clinical level postpartum depression is so common. What we did is we used our scanning technology to measure a brain protein called monamine oxidase A. And what we found is that this protein was elevated 43% four to six days after delivery. What's interesting about this protein is that it eats up brain chemicals like serotonin that maintain a healthy normal mood. And so what we interpret this to have happened is that the protein went up, ate more serotonin, and this led to a more sad mood. The images we show that this protein that was elevated pretty much throughout the brain. And the importance of this is that uh, postpartum depression is really quite a, uh, a common complication of childbearing at a 13% rate. What's important about the postpartum blues or the healthy range postpartum blues is that when it does occur and it's more severe, it can lead to postpartum depression. One of the implications for the work that we did here is that one might look at diet as a way to try to prevent clinical level postpartum depression. The idea is that some of the nutrients in what we eat become some of the chemicals in our brain that this MAOA protein removes. And so to compensate for too much MAOA protein, what we are going to be looking at is whether we can give a diet that might help prevent postpartum depression. You know, I'd also like to thank the, the Center for Addiction Mental Health for funding this technology because uh, this is really the only place in the world where we have this kind of scanner, this positron emission tomography scanner, dedicated towards mental health and addictions.